Hey everybody, Corey Jenkins here with WP Zone, and today I'm super excited to uh, introduce you to a new plugin that we've developed, and that's called AI Image Lab. Uh, AI Image Lab is a artificial intelligence uh, tool that we've developed. It's a WordPress plugin. Uh, basically, you install it on your website, and from your WordPress media library, you can create uh, beautiful images uh, for your website. So essentially, you would put in a text-based prompt on the type of uh, image that you're looking for, go through some of the other settings, and this tool will start uh, creating uh, images for you that you can use on your WordPress website, whether it be a featured image for a blog post or uh, for just using throughout other pages uh, and posts on your on your website. So I'm going to go ahead and and walk you through uh, this plugin right now and show you some of the the really cool features. Um, you know, you can create the images, you can actually uh, edit the images that you create with this tool. You can also edit uh, images that were uh, taken uh, with a camera. You can uh, bring that uh, into the plugin and actually edit those with the AI technology. So like I said, we're super excited about it. And right now I'm gonna take you into the, uh, to the back end of our website and show you how this thing works. Okay, so here we are on the uh, back end of our website where we are going to install the AI Image Lab plugin. And uh, to install it, uh, you can do it a, a couple of different ways. Um, you can head over to our website at wpzone.co and locate the AI Image Lab uh, product page, and you can download it to your uh, desktop and then upload it to your WordPress site. We also have the, the plugin uh, uploaded to the WordPress um, repository. So you can head over to the repository and, uh, and check this out and uh, download it from here if you would like. But as you know, you can also add WordPress plugins uh, from, your, from your dashboard. So for this example, we're going to head over to our uh, dashboard and install it using this method. Okay, so from uh, plugins, we're gonna go to add new, and we are just gonna go over here to search and search AI Image Lab. Okay, and here is the plugin uh, right here. We're just gonna click install now. All right, and activate. Okay, so now that the plugin is installed and activated, you will see over here, uh, we have uh, in the menu, the AI uh, Image Lab option, and I'm gonna click on that. Okay, so so from here, um, you're gonna need to connect the, the plugin uh, to your account at wpzone.co. So once again, this plugin is free. There is uh, absolutely uh, no um, purchase required, but you do have to create an account at wpzone.co uh, in order to use uh, in order to use the plugin. So, in order to create a account, you can just head over to wpzone.co, click sign in. If you don't have an account with us already, uh, just go ahead and register a new account. And then, uh, when you go to connect, this is going to prompt you to uh, to connect to your account at wpzone.co. And I am going to sign in here to my account. All right, and once that done, once that is done, you just uh, click continue. Okay, so the AI Image Lab uh, plugin is now uh, connected uh, to our uh, to our website and to your account at WP Zone, and now we can go ahead and and start using this. Um, so there's a couple of uh, different options uh, and ways that you can uh, generate images uh, with a plugin. The first one uh, I'm going to show you is we're going to head over to the uh, to the media library. Okay, and you can see now that we have uh, generate image with AI. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, and click on that up here at the top. Okay. And then here we are on the uh, on the AI Image Lab uh, creation uh, dashboard here. And the first thing we want to do is to enter a prompt. So with uh, working with AI image plugins and AI images in general, when you're creating them, uh, your idea or what you're trying to create is called a prompt. So this is a, a very important step. And you can kind of uh, play around with your with the prompts and try to hone those in. 
Um, but for this example, uh, I'm going to show you just kind of a, a couple of simple prompts and the images that it creates and also some of the really cool uh, options that we've provided you uh, within the plugin that will help you get a head start. So let's go ahead and let's uh, create an image that is a, uh, a lighthouse. If I could type here. Lighthouse, and then I'm going to do comma. Let's put stormy, stormy sea. Okay, so let's go ahead and just use this for now. And once I add the prompts in here, um, you can see how these are separated by a comma. So that's actually going to add these on two different lines. You can see lighthouse, stormy sea. If I wanted to create something else uh, to, to have within the prompt, then I can enter it uh, down here as well, um, where it says enter prompt keyword here. And then you can click add, and it will add to it. So after we add the prompts, you can see that next to them, uh, we have priority. So what this does is basically your prompt terms that you've entered, you can make uh, those, uh, some of the terms have a higher priority. So for example, if I increase this for two, that should give that a higher priority to the lighthouse uh, in this image that we're creating. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just leave that at one for now. And uh, as I scroll down here, you can see just some of the other uh, options that we've created. Here, if you do need uh, any inspiration, you can see I've clicked snowy Rocky Mountains, low clouds, and it's added it up here. I'm going to delete those because we're just going to stick with the lighthouse. But these will kind of help you just uh, get a head start and see how prompts are used. Um, so down here, we have the quality. Uh, you can choose faster speed, lower quality, or slower speed, which is the time it takes to generate the images and a high, higher quality. You can choose the aspect ratio. So depending on the image that you're creating, uh, you know whether it might be uh, just a regular kind of square image, or maybe you need something landscape uh, 16 by nine for like a featured image on a on a blog post, you can do that. You can also set the set the height uh, down here, and then we have some some other settings. I'm not going to uh, choose any of these yet. Um, I'll I'll do a quick example where I change these. By default, uh, this is set on photo. And then you have painting, illustration, pencil drawing, digital art. And then you have camera lens, wide angle, macro, and grayscale. You can see if, if I do click on painting, you'll have some extra options uh, show up here. Uh, painting style, painting medium, and then even going as far as like choosing the uh, the artist uh, and and some also additional like color controls and things like that. So you can get really honed in on, on what you're uh, trying to create. And it's it's a lot of fun just going through and playing around with this uh, with this plugin and seeing how you know the images come out different and try to hone those in to get the exact look and feel that that you need. Okay, so with this, uh, just with the uh, with the prompts that we have up here and leaving the other default settings, I'm going to go ahead and click generate images, and this will take just a moment to work here. You can see that we have uh, the six. Uh, image options it's going to give us. These are spinning and loading. And it's starting to give us some really cool looking uh, images here that we can choose from. Okay, so there it is. We have, uh, we have six uh, images of a lighthouse and the stormy sea that uh, the AI image lab plugin has created. And from there, you can choose uh, which image you'd like to use. Uh, so let's say in this example, I like, uh, I like this one right here. So I can click on that and uh, hit get this image. And that'll that'll actually add that to our uh, to our image library. So that is uh, in a nutshell how this uh, plugin works. Um, I'm going to go real quick and just kind of select some of these other options uh, to show you how that will change. And then I, I'm going to go uh, into a page and show you real quick to say you can do the same thing from within a, a, a Divi module. So from here, let's click uh, painting. And I want a realistic painting. And we're going to do oil on canvas. So let's uh, generate image again.
Okay, so you can see how now uh, selecting the different uh, options down here for, for a painting and the painting style, we're starting to get some different results here. So these are really cool looking images. And like I said, you can play around with this and uh, get a really, really good idea of uh, the power of this of this plugin. Okay, so that uh, that is basically uh, how you would uh, generate uh, images using this plugin. And, you know, the sky's the limit using your imagination and the prompts, and you can keep adding additional prompts, you can change the priority, uh, play around with the, uh, the, the style of the images and, and things like that. So uh, let's go ahead and hop, uh, let's create a new page here. And I'm just going to show you this uh, within the, the Divi Builder real quick. So this plugin will be compatible with any Divi module that uses uh, images. So of course, the image module, um, the blur module, things like that, you'll be able to, uh, to access uh, this plugin and generate uh, your images without having to, uh, to leave the page uh, that you're working on with the Divi Builder. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead here and uh, find the, uh, the image module for Divi. Okay, and we are going to click on that. And you can see now that we have the options uh, up here. It brings up first generate image with AI, but then you can, you know, choose the other options, upload or the media library. And you can just kind of follow this and do the same process that we did in the media library. Put in your prompts here, choose the other options, and it works pretty much the same, but it's really handy not having to like leave the page that you're working on with the Divi Builder to generate more images. So this can be used right from within the Divi module. So that is, is basically how you create uh, images with the AI Image Lab plugin. And now I wanna show you something really cool, uh, how you can actually uh, edit the images that you create with AI Image Lab. And you can actually bring in uh, other images, uh, perhaps even photographs that you've taken yourself into this plugin and uh, edit those and even add things into those pictures using this plugin as well. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and head back over to the media library and I'll show you how the uh, editing function works. Okay, so here we are back in our uh, WordPress media library and you can see that we have a, a number of images back here. We've got some uh, photographs, some stock photography, uh, and then we also have some images that we've generated uh, using the plugin. So for this first example, I'm going to select uh, the image that we just created um, with the plugin. And after I click on that, you can see that we have two options down below. Uh, edit image, that's the default uh, WordPress editing. And then we have edit in AI image lab. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then... Uh, this will bring up this screen and you can see the instructions up here, click and drag to select areas of the image to regenerate. Uh, so let's go ahead and select uh, this area here. And down below, we can uh, enter a prompt. So I think uh, for this uh, image, it would be really cool if we added some birds into it. So let's put, uh, let's put flock of birds. And you could probably get more specific on, you know, the color of the birds and, uh, perhaps even the type of birds. But for this uh, example, I'm just going to use birds and and see what we come up with. And so I've entered that prompt and we're going to click generate. Okay, and you can see now um, in the area that we selected in the prompt, it is uh, starting to, to give us some options here of the different uh, images we can use. Um, you know, we always do provide you with six options, and then you can always go back and regenerate. But you'll notice from time to time, uh, you know, for whatever reason, one of the images doesn't regenerate and there's nothing added there. Or, you know, maybe it's not the outcome that you're looking for. So you can always go back and generate these again. But uh, I think this turned out looking pretty cool. So I'm going to select this image here. And just like we did before, click get this image. And boom, it's added into your, uh, to your library. Um, so I'm going to head back. And as I mentioned, uh, you don't have to use images that you created 
with the AI Image Lab plugin in order to uh, regenerate and to edit them. So we're going to take uh, this picture here, for example. This is a picture taken by our developer, uh, Jonathan. This is a real pretty lake uh, up in Canada. And we want to uh, edit this a little bit and add, add some, you know, some items uh, into this picture. So down here, I'm going to click uh, Edit in AI Image Lab again. And same thing, we're going to select a uh, area of the uh, of the picture here, and then um, I can put down here um, the image editing prompt. So I'm going to put uh, white sailboat, and so we're going to add a a sailboat into this picture here that Jonathan took. So let's click Generate Images. Okay, and we're starting to get some uh, some pretty cool uh, images here um, and several that we can uh, select from. So you can see from this example just how powerful this is. I could uh, kind of hone in these prompts, add different things into uh, the images that you've created with this plugin. You can uh, edit photographs that you've taken elsewhere and uh, add elements into them. Uh, and then add these into your media library for use on your website. So I hope this gives you a good example of uh, just how powerful this plugin is and all of the cool things that you can achieve with it. And we hope you find it as exciting and as valuable as we do. All right. Well, thank you for watching. And we hope that this video gives you a better idea of the use cases and the power of the AI Image Lab plugin. So we hope that you... Uh, head on over to our website or to the WordPress repository and download it today and give it a try yourself. And we'd really appreciate uh, any feedback that you have. Uh, please leave that uh, in a comment here on the video. And we'd also, if you're enjoying the, the plugin, we'd also appreciate uh, any reviews that you could leave us on the WordPress repository. So that's all for today and we'll talk to you soon.